What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop the Balls, here today with another quick tip in Infinite Warfare about pre-firing and pre-aiming. I actually talked about this briefly in my video about winning more gunfights, but I only really glossed over it and I wanted to give you guys a more in-depth and sort of thorough explanation in this video here. So essentially, you would do both of these things when you know an enemy is coming around a corner, or when you're going around a corner or some piece of cover, and you know that there's going to be an enemy there. Pre-aiming is essentially just bringing up your guns, so you're aiming down the sights, before you turn the corner or before you see the enemy. That way you save the time of aiming down sights and you don't have to do that right when you see them, which can be a pretty big difference, especially in a twitch shooter like Call of Duty, and I'll show you an example of this later. Pre-firing means starting to shoot around that piece of cover before you actually see the enemy. And when you do this, the goal is that when you turn the corner, because you'll already be firing, you'll save some time there, get a few extra bullets on the enemy and save a little bit of time, or when the enemy comes around the cover, they'll run straight into your bullets and that'll result in a faster time to kill. So as always, I'm going to show you guys a few examples, so take a look at this first one here. So I saw that enemy around the corner, and I knew I was at a disadvantage, so I decided to pull back from that gunfight and go through that doorway. But I knew because he was so close to me that he was definitely going to try to rush me. So what I did is I already aimed down sight to save some time there, and I started pre-firing because I knew he was going to come in. That way I didn't have to rely so much on my reflexes to start shooting him. But the second he did run through the doorway, he would start getting hit by my bullets. And sure enough, that's what happens. I get a kill on him. And there's actually another person too that I get an easy kill on. And now I'm going to show you an example where I don't do this and I end up dying as a result. Because I don't save that time from aiming down sights beforehand. And that little bit of time ends up costing me. So take a look. So as you heard, there were definitely footsteps coming from the right hand side, and as I talked about in my sound horn video, we can look at the mini map, see that there's no teammates in that direction, so we can be sure that there must be an enemy there. And when I was playing the game, I definitely heard these footsteps, but I guess I was just being lazy and didn't put my sights up, or I just wasn't thinking, and I ended up dying as a result. Now, you might think that the aiming down sights time really isn't that much and doesn't make much of a difference, and I actually measured it here, and it comes out to 0.13 seconds. Which again, doesn't sound like a lot, but in a twitch shooter like Call of Duty, it really makes a big difference. Especially considering that the time to kill of the NV4 is 0 0.38, 0 0.39 seconds or so. So that adds an additional 0.13 to that because I have to aim down sights before I can start firing. I mean, yeah, I could start hip firing before that, but hip firing is very inaccurate with the NV4. So I pretty much did have to add that time. So that increases my time to kill by almost 33%. And to add on to that, that was with using the quick draw attachment. Without the quick draw attachment, it would be a much longer time to aim down sights and thus a much longer time to kill even. So at the end of the day guys, if you're going around a corner and you know that there's going to be enemies there, or you know an enemy's going to be coming around the corner to you, you definitely want to pre-aim to save that time aiming down sights and pre-fire so you can start getting some bullets on them without having to rely so much on reaction time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this. Is this a tactic you guys already knew about and you've already been using when you were playing? If so, how effective do you find it? And if you guys haven't used it before, what do you think about this? And if you guys are new around here, subscribe for more tips and tricks videos. I got a giveaway coming at 750 subscribers, so help me get there. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video.